from the WKBN 27 First News Network, home of the High School Basketball Starting Five Award and the best overall sports coverage in the Valley. This is the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week on My YTV. Inside jam-packed Ursuline High School, it is the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week tonight. An age-old rivalry is renewed as Cardinal Mooney and Ursuline do battle once again. Hi again, everybody. Chad Prispinski alongside Will Klusenik. Will, the Cardinals check into this one. Seven games under the 500 mark at 4-11. Ursuline, meanwhile, is 10-5. It sounds like a cliché. But it's true in this case, you can throw out those records. These two heated rivals, anytime they step on the athletic field or the court or in any kind of competition, it is as heated as ever. You said it, Chad. Anytime that you play in these type of rivalry games, there's so much emotion, so much intensity. You know, you want to come out and show your best during these games and I don't expect anything different tonight. Starting lineups are being introduced. Let's meet the starting lineups for both the Irish and the Cardinals. As we have a packed house on hand for Ursuline, it is Anise Algamy and Dakota Hobbs, joined by Vince Venzio in the backcourt. Algamy and Hobbs, outstanding football players as well. Trace Leonard is at one forward, and Anthony Howell, the big guy in the middle, is a force to be reckoned with for Cardinal Mooney. Alex Wallet is joined by Pat Pellini and John Mikos. Anthony Fire and Vinny Gentile round things out. It is worth noting Mooney shorthanded. Leading scorer Pete Haas injured. He suffered a, a broken leg, so to speak, back on Sunday night. He is done for the season, as you see. He had surgery on Monday, and so the Cardinals are going to be without Pete Haas here for the rest of the campaign. The two teams are exchanging pleasantries, and we're ready to get this thing underway. Set to jump it up for Ursuline. It is Anthony Howell against Vinny Gentile. Sit back, relax, and enjoy some high school basketball live here on my YTV. Ursuline controls things, and the Irish have the basketball to start. Algamy onto the right wing, Venzio. Feeding it to Howe right from the get-go. Howe spinning, fights it up, it won't go. And the rebound comes down to Mooney. Good interior defense to clog things up. Down the floor, Gentile fights it up and in. Plus the foul. It just shows you how athletic Howe is with that move offensively. But Mooney not to be undone. Excellent job of looking down the floor to get the run out. And Gentile takes the contact from Howe. That's going to be his first. You can see the enthusiasm and excitement already. Three point, three points per game for Gentile. Misses the free throw. Off the miss, Polini tears it down. This is Mikos, floater up, short. Rebound tapped around. It is controlled by who? Ursula. Trace Leonard off the floor. Contact, a whistle. And a foul will be tagged to Pat Polini. And that's going to be the first on Polini. And you can see Mooney coming out with a lot of energy. You know, they're going to be scrappy. You know, they're going to fight tonight. And we're going to see if they're able to maintain that. They're going to have to knock some of those quick ones and those high percentage ones down early you know, to build some of that confidence on the offensive end. So one team foul per side. Polini picking up his first. Algamy has it to Leonard. Leonard is defended. Top of the key, Algamy for three. He knocked it down. Algamy at very comfortable in rhythm, in range. Knocks the first three down. Three to the Irish. Alex Wallet line lane taps it back. Mikos with a baseline jumper. He knocked down that triple. And again, the opportunity, able to get the ball to him, in range, knocks it down. Mooney starting to settle in a little bit here. Five three, Cardinals with the lead. Ball in the hands of Venzio. They swing it around to Algamy. 6.37 clock rolling here in the opening quarter. Mooney Ursuline, the second meeting of the campaign. Leonard nearly has his pocket pick. Feeds it to Algamy. Underneath Howell, who has swarmed upon. And he is fouled. And we'll see the Cardinal foul is tagged too. It is tagged to Mikos. And you can see right there, Chad, how much attention Howell draws 
trying to get the double team, just his strength, size, going to be a big problem tonight. How in traffic, shot block, jump ball. Boy, that Cardinal defense collapsing, and at least in the first couple of minutes, holding Hal at bay. And they're going to need that, just the amount of bodies it's going to take to keep him out of here. Again, doesn't have a good grip on the ball, and good call on the jump ball by the officials. Polini called for the carry. There was some contact there as well. Of course, Polini, the son of Youngstown State head coach Bo Polini, he recently signed a couple of days ago on signing day to walk on at the University of Notre Dame. It's a great school. Anytime you can get a, uh, academics from a, an institution like that, very difficult to pass up. He'll be with the Irish next year, but tonight he's a Cardinal. <laughs> Nearly a steal for Mooney off the dribble. This is Hobbs working it into the corner. Van Zio. And we have a whistle and a foul on the take. And the Mooney foul is tagged to Gentile. And you're going to get that call every single time. Anytime you swat down on it, you a pretty good defense on the back end there, but you swat down, it looks like a foul. Most likely, you're going to get that foul. Team foul number three called against Mooney. Venzio puts the free throw up. And he knocked it in. He's averaging a dozen points per game. Third on the team in scoring. For Ursuline head coach... Keith Gunther. Venzio trying to tie things up, and he does. So we're deadlocked at five. He's getting a little chippy early with Gentile. you got to be careful of not getting a cheap one right there with Dwayne Washington. Alex Wallet races it across. Nearly another carry. Wallet has his pocket pick. All going to be to the line of the lane. Scoops it up, and somehow gets it to fall. Very acrobatic by Anise. Able to go up, put it in. Polini up and in, plus the foul. And you can see right now, Mooney doing an excellent job of using a little bit of pace, attacking before the defense gets in there. Polini takes it strong, absorbs the contact. Now with the opportunity for the old-fashioned three-point play and to take the lead. Look, Pecchia has checked in for Mooney. Pat Pellini coming into this one. He's battled some back problems. There's his proud dad, Youngstown State head coach, Ball Pellini. Pat unable to connect on the free throw. Back to Pellini. Pellini puts it up and in. Getting a little bit of contact out on, on that end. Pellini, good body control. Gets it in off the glass to give Mooney a 9-7 lead. Olgami hits the long two. And Boy, up-tempo here from the start. And he's all going to be definitely feeling it in this first quarter. But you can see Mooney not wanting to back down an inch. Blocking foul called on the take by Alex Wallet. And that'll be a foul tagged to DeWaylon Washington. I really like the aggressiveness by Mooney. Looking to attack the rim and force them, force Ursland to defend. And right now, Mooney's doing a good job of creating those extra opportunities, getting to the free throw line. They just got to make sure that they maintain some of their composure because it is a physical game. Hal is back for Ursuline. Gentile in for Mooney. There you see Cardinal Mooney head coach, Kerry Palermo. Now, he spent about seven years as an assistant on the other bench and, under Keith Gunther. You know, and it's definitely difficult coming back to the alma mater, not only coaching, but also played here as well. And some of the student section giving him a hard time. I see a, a poster with his picture on it. Mm -hmm. Of course, you can expect a little bit of that. Olgami feeding it to Howe. Left low block. Great move in the low post. Puts it up. Misses. Leonard with a rebound for Ursuline. Well, the Irish will set things back up. This is Hobbs. Over to Algamy for three. That one was short. Rebound tipped up into the air. Loose on the floor. And it is out of bounds. It'll go back to Mooney. Some pretty good hustle right there by Algamy. They get the turnover, though, however. But you like seeing guys diving, trying to get those loose balls. Alex Wallet will slowly trot it across the time strike. He's into the forecourt. Algamy, outstanding quickness on defense. Back out front to Pellini. Pellini spins of the paint. Pellini walked with a basketball. And the turnover will give it back to the Irish.
you know, sometimes you've got to be careful when you go with, to that spin dribble. You can get yourself clogged up in there. And don't mind the aggressiveness, but you got to make sure that you know where you are on the floor. Mooney with a one-point lead early on. Algamy outside the three-point line, trying to lob it for Howell. And as I recall, you and I, not this current season, but last season, opened up our broadcast schedule here right from the get-go. Howell took a lob and hammered it home to open the scoring that night. And that looked very similar to the same play. The thing is, you've got to make sure as the passer, you can't predetermine that you're going to throw it. There's always other options than just that lob. Mooney defended it very well. Terrell Brown has checked in for the Cardinals. So we're just about halfway home here in the opening quarter. Mikos eyeing up a triple. He fires, misses. Brown with a rebound for Mooney. Back to Gentile. Here is Brown. Wallet. Bounce past Pekia. Mikos firing three ball. He's got it. Going inside out. Making the zone collapse. Nikos has that extra second to knock down the three. Hobbs, Excellent possession. Trying to answer back. How? Trying to draw some contact. Great move. How? Puts it in. That's a big time move by the big fella. So strong, so athletic, great footwork, able to finish it off. Very difficult to Mooney to do anything with that. 13 11 is our score. Walled it up at the top of the key over to Mikos. Mikos penetrates from the elbow. Shot blocked. Ball is tapped around Leonard, ahead of the pack. Hobbs puts it up and in. And that's one thing that Mooney can't have. Hobbs able to get the run out off the turnover. Easy buckets. Defense leading to offense. Three minutes left. Mikos back out front. It is Wallet. Mikos. Wallet. Now Brown. Nearly a tie-up, nearly a turnover. Wallet controls outside Brown. Into the paint, and we have a whistle and a foul called. 2.39 left. And with that, we will take timeout. 13-13 is our score. Outstanding start. Mooney and Ursuline doing battle on the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Visit Ursuline's Open House Sunday, February 12th to learn about financial aid, plus academic, spiritual, and extracurricular offerings that make Ursuline the right choice for your child. Keeping with our standards of excellence, Windsor House proudly welcomes Armstrong Memory Care Assisted Living to our family of communities. Trumbull County's only memory care assisted living, Windsor House and Armstrong serves families in need of Alzheimer's and dementia care. Our residents receive personalized services and top quality amenities, all with the comfort of their own private living spaces. Call today to schedule a tour of our newly constructed memory care assisted living in Champion, Windsor House, a tradition of caring since 1959. Highly intelligent comedy. Can you see through my blouse? Nope. Oh, shoot. I'll just have to make it work. Helpful in crisis. I've never been a loser. How do you guys do it? And heavy into... Jake. Holy... Hot in Cleveland. Hot in Cleveland. Weekdays at 4 on MyYTV. Cardinal Mooney head coach, Kerry Palermo. Back in a familiar setting. <laughs> Not a very endearing picture there. Hey, I asked him about it. I said, I see your picture across the way. And Coach Palermo said, hey, it's not about me. It's about the kids. And that's, and that's the correct answer. In his mind, he's probably thinking, <laughs> you've got to be kidding me. Exactly. Exactly. 13-all is our score as we're back in the first quarter. Gentile with the ball for Mooney. Gentile, an outstanding football player as well. Terrell Brown gives to the near side. Mikos for three. He's got it. Martinez, or excuse me, Brown, excellent job of finding Mikos in the corner, drawing the defense, and that's what you're going to need. Get some of those assists. Get some looks for some open teammates. Great possession for Mooney. 16-13, Cardinals leading the Irish. Top of the key, Anthony Howell. Over to Algamy for three. That one no good. Look at Gentile. Good box out and a great rebound. Ahead of the pack to Brown, who will slow things up. And Brown carried the ball. Second carry of the night, called against Mooney. Had a little bit of an opening. Was a little unsure what he wanted to do, and he's called for the carry. You know, anytime that, that you see your, your forearm there, a lot of times the official's going to call that. So 
and keep your, your forearm down, you don't get that call then. Ursuline trailing by three. Chad Krispinski, Wilt Klusnik with you. Van Zio raises up. That deep one will not go. Polini comes down to the rebound. Loose ball on the floor. Look at Pecchia. Timeout called. Great hustle by Cardinal Mooney's Luke Pecchia. And that's some stuff you can't teach when kids are diving, laying it on the line. And why not in a rivalry game like this? A rivalry game. And anytime you can see guys getting on the deck like that and that quick. I mean, that was reckless abandon. Didn't think anything else. Again, good job of calling a timeout, but rolled over a little bit. Could have easily been caught a travel, but you want to reward the hustle. Excellent job by Pecchia of saving that 50-50 ball. Now, Cardinal Mooney and first-year head coach Kerry Palermo in danger of suffering through the first losing season in five years. The Cardinals have won just once in their last nine outings coming in, and they have scored 60 points or more just one time this season, and that was a three-point loss to Warren JFK. And I, and I talked to Kerry. He said he's having a blast. You know, you've got a lot of young guys. You know, your leading scorer goes down. You just got to remain positive, enjoy it, and have some fun, and he's doing that. Mikos with the ball. Mikos gives it over to Polini, who tracks it down. Ball is loose. Polini picks it up. This is Mikos. Back to Polini. Polini over to Pecchia. They give it to Terrell Brown. Traveling called on Polini. That's the byproduct of some pressure style defense. Yeah, you got to realize where the pressure is, get down in the stance, you know, and not shuffle the feet a little bit. But right now, Mooney's got to be very happy with where they stand. And always, can you finish out the quarters? Olgami lobs for Howe. How? Outside into Waylon Washington. Another one of those outstanding football players for Ursuline. Look at Howe spinning. And he flipped it in. That's pretty special. Able to use that type of footwork. Feel the defense on the backside. Lay it in nicely with the left. Terrell Brown crosses over. Works it over to Polini. Thought about the three. Now penetrates into the paint. Feeds it to the near side. Jumper up. Off the rim. No good. Shot by Pat Brennan. Rebound Irish ahead to Algamy, who stops and pops and hits for three. He's been on fire in this first half. Give him 10. 18-16, Ursland with a two-point lead. Cardinals in all likelihood will hold for the final shot. We're inside of 10 seconds left, down to five. Long jumper by Brown, it won't go. Rebound down to Dwayne Washington. Here is Algamy, and the first quarter is in the books. We have played eight minutes here at Ursuline. We head to the second quarter. Irish with a two-point lead on the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. You're watching the High School Basketball Game of the Week on My YTV. Powered by the WKBN 27 First News Network. Are you tired of paying expensive cable or satellite bills month after month? Now you see them. Now you don't. You don't need expensive cable or satellite anymore. All you need is the free TV key from Clear TV. Now you can watch your favorite broadcast network shows for free. That's right, forget about paying hundreds of dollars a year for satellite or cable-only channels. The free TV key hides behind your TV and is easy. Just plug it into your TV's cable input. No wires, no unsightly antennas. Your television will instantly receive top-rated network shows, local news and weather, sporting events and more all for free in vivid hd and digital signal if we're just off the coast here in the gulf of mexico receiving free network broadcast hd tv imagine all the free channels the tv key can unlock for you thanks to a federal government mandate all broadcasters are required to broadcast a digital tv signal through the airwaves cable and satellite services can cost you up to 80 dollars a month that's $960 a year and almost $10,000 over a 10-year period. With the free TV key, there's no contracts, no monthly fees, and no unexpected rate increases. Watch again. Just plug it in and get free TV. Call or go online now to get your free TV key HD digital antenna for just $19.99. I took my free TV key out of the box, plugged it into the cable input, 
And now I get to watch all my favorite broadcast channels for free. This compact design is perfect for an apartment, ideal for a college dorm room or boat, or on your RV. And forget about paying monthly fees for extra receivers. Order right now and you can add a second free TV key. Just pay separate processing and handling. That's two free TV keys, a $40 value, all for only $19.99. Not available in stores. Order now. Cardinal Mooney cheerleaders and student section has had plenty to cheer about thus far. It's been a great ball game. We're glad you're with us here tonight live at Ursuline. This age-old rivalry renewed. There's the carry. Turnabout is fair play as the Cardinals were called for a couple of carries. And now we see the official gathering Gentile and the howl. Get a little physical, a little chippy underneath. Physical, and that's to be expected. You know, both guys want to establish their presence inside. But again, you've got to be able to do it the right way, the correct way. And Ursuline, not how they wanted to start off with that turnover coming out into the second quarter. Ball is in the hands of Polini up at the top of the key. It's fire. This is Wallet. Working it over to Jordan Stanford. Ends up in the hands of Gentile for three. It's off the rim, no good. And the rebound to Anise Algami of Ursuline. Ahead of the pack, this is Venzio. Off the dribble, contact, and it's a blocking foul called against Cardinal Mooney. That's a pretty easy call for the official. Bailed out a little bit. And that's exactly what you want. Get yourself to the free throw line. Good call. So it is a shooting foul. Venzio's going to shoot a pair. Anthony Fire picking up the personal. Four team fouls per side. And the free throw is up, and it is good. It is a three-point. Ursuline lead at 19-16. Back in for Mooney. Luke Pecchia. 7.22 left of the first half. Second free throw follows the first one in. It's Venzio. And this is where Mooney needs to be careful. You're down four right now. You're looking for a quality possession. High percentage shot. The last thing you want is for Mooney to get on those one at many runs and get you down into double digits. Wallet around a screen from fire. He now penetrates, works it to Polini. Polini goes off the dribble. And he walked with a basketball. His foot slipped. So it'll go back to Ursuline with 7-5 left. Jordan Folletti checks in for Keith Gunther. Again, situation where if, even if he didn't travel, you could probably get the push off right there uh, a little bit. So again, doesn't get the personal foul, but he does get the travel. A minute into the second quarter. Ball is up at the top of the key to Algamy. Algamy defended by Polini. Algamy. He's, he's long, man. Polini, you don't realize that. He's, he's a long kid. How? Works it back to Algamy up at the top of the key. Three ball up and good as the Irish lighting it up from the outside. Dakota Hobbs drilled it, and it's 23-16. And that's going to be the fifth point for Dakota Hobbs. Ursa looking pretty good from long range. This is Stanford. Back to Polini. They work it underneath. Low post. Shot up, no good. Tapped by Gentile, no good. And Gentile went up and over the back of Anthony Howell. And that'll be a personal foul. His second both teams looking pretty good from three, and that's what Moody's going to need to do. But also, when you get the ball on the inside, you've got to be able to finish those off. You like the effort by Gentile, just a little too aggressive going over Howe. 23-16, Irish trying to increase this lead. It is Algamy. Working it over to Folletti. Here's Leonard. Now Hobbs. Hobbs off the dribble into the paint, scoops it with the left hand and won't go. Rebound tipped up into the air. It is controlled by Folletti in a huge collision. And that's going to be the third foul on Vinny Gentile. Again, you've got to play under control because he's going to be sitting for a while now. Yeah, he's going to be sitting for a while. you got to play under control, and we talked about it. You like the effort, but you got to be smart sometimes as well. And what you start to realize, the score at one time was 13-16. Irish were losing. They've reeled off 10 straight right now. Just under six minutes to play. Venzio is back in. 
replacing Dakota Hobbs. It's a high five from Keith Gunther. Ball is in to Anthony Howe. Now Algamy controlling things at the top of the key. They whip it over to Venzio. Venzio off the dribble, fights it up off the bottom of the rim and won't go. Mooney comes down to the rebound. Ahead to Mikos. Mikos, bounce pass underneath, jump stop, up off the glass and in. Nicely done. You, you should have checked. Great high percentage run out. Mooney running the break, getting the shot that they need to stop the bleeding a little bit. 23-18, ball is out of bounds, but off Pat Polini. And Mooney really, again, needs to just start locking it up defensively here. Make sure they're closing out on some of these shooters. Got to believe that's why Polini right there is on in the east right now, making sure he doesn't get any of those open looks. Fenzio. Top of the key, How They have it over to Algamy. Outside, Folletti firing three ball. That was a brick. And it's a whistle and a foul called on Venzio for going over the back. So that is the fifth Ursuline team foul. It'll go back to Mooney. Cardinals trailing it by five. 23-18. If you're Mooney, you feel pretty comfortable with this position, but just continue to kind of chip away, control the tempo, run the offense, get the looks that you need, and if you get those open threes, you've got to be able to knock them down. Polini, outside the three-point line. They work it over to Wallet. Wallet lowers the shoulder, and there is contact and a foul. It's going to be a foul on Anise Algamy. Checking back in, it's Dakota Hobbs. That is the sixth team foul, and the second on Anise Algamy, who will take a seat. Wallet to trigger it in. He whips it into Polini, who finds Mikos. Back to Polini. Bellini firing three ball. He's got it! Yeah, excellent job of getting the ball, moving it around, and, and getting it back. I like when the players get that one extra touch, able to get his feet set, knock it down, and cut this lead to two. Near side three ball. Iris trying to answer back. Leonard can't connect. Ball out of bounds. It's going to stay right here. Got to be able to grab those. You don't want to be tapping it around. I know you're trying to keep it away from Hal. But you've got to go up there, high point it, and grab it with two hands. Hobbs to fire it in, 424 left to play. Lob into Howe, Howe with a collision. Howe was grabbed. And it's going to be a one and one free throw shooting situation. And that foul's going to be the second one on Anthony Fire there. And you can see the amount of attention that Anthony Howe draws when he gets in there. You know, you've got to try to take away that first move and collapse, but has such great footwork, he's able to make that secondary move. And you really can't see a lot of big guys that are able to, to make that secondary move. Howe, free throw up. Off the rim, no good. Mooney can tie with a two. Polini has his pocket picked by Leonard. And Leonard wisely pulls it back out, whips it over to Venzio. Benzio to Howell. Howell in traffic. Puts it up and in. Fleet of foot. The big fella able to slide past the defender and finish it off for the sixth point of the night. 25-21. There's another Mooney turnover. Up the floor. Hops to the line. To the lane. Shot blocked. There's a whistle and a foul. And I think they just got Pat Brennan on the personal. 3.54 left. And as we head to break, we'll take a look at this one. Dakota. Hobbs. Hey, Hobbs coming right in. Maybe offensive. Could have gone either way. Four-point lead for Ursuline. Back after this in the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Life can be complicated. If you're feeling anxious and depressed and you're ready to take back your life, call us today. Churchill Counseling and our licensed professionals have been helping Valley residents for over 20 years. Take back your life with Churchill Counseling. At Sweeney Chevrolet Buick GMC, we are focused on the future. And we understand that hardships happen. That's life. But we're here to help. 
We finance your future, not your past. We have hundreds of vehicles, dedicated finance specialists, and over 20 banks to choose from. We strive every day to make your car buying experience better, regardless of your credit history. Discover a better way. Swinney Chevrolet Buick GMC. Family owned and operated since 1921. Sweeney. Early psychological testing can be invaluable if you suspect your child has problems with development, attention, learning, behavior, or autism. At Churchill Counseling, we provide testing, diagnosis, and treatment in a caring, trusting, and non-judgmental environment. 3.54 left here in the first half, 25-21 in favor of Ursuline. Chad Krasminski, Will Klusenik with you, Dakota Hobbs at the free throw line for the Irish. Trying to increase this four-point advantage. And he drilled it. Hobbs outstanding on the gridiron for Larry Kemp's Ursuline squad. Of course, we had an epic Mooney Ursuline football game earlier this season. Last fall, in fact. Boy, was that a lot of fun. Mooney rallying in the final minutes. These two slugging it out in basketball here tonight. Ball is in the hands of Pellini. Over the top of the key, it's Wallet. Over to Mikos. Mikos nearly walked. Ball nearly stolen. Here's Pellini. Long range triple. Up. Off the rim. It falls off. Howell with the rebound. And Howell is fouled. <laughs> He's got bodies draped all oh, over him. my goodness. <laughs> He's got bodies and hands and people just clubbing him and just, I love the demeanor. Doesn't have show any emotion. Goes, look at that, just goes up. Big man, like, man, rebound. It's knocked to the ground. You know, big point right now for uh, Mooney. And that foul is going to be on number 14, Pat Brennan. You know, as, as Howe sends to the, to the foul line, Mooney's got to be real careful here. 3.30, you cut it to two. You're feeling pretty good. Now you got the Irish. Again, another miss by Howe. You've got an opportunity just to keep it under six and keep it close. You've got to make sure you get these quality possessions and you can't have these turnovers. But Mooney doing all they can to stay close here right now. Ursuline's lead is six. Pat Polini off the dribble, spins, loses the handle, gobbles it back up. Back up front, Wallet spins. Wallet puts it up and in somehow. Somehow, some way, as you always say, Chad. I'm not sure how it went in, but it did. Wallet brings him ever closer. 27-23, Ursuline by four off the dribble. It is Hobbs raising up and knocking it down. You don't see that very often, but great job. Smooth mid-range jumper, under control, rhythm, knocks it in. Polini into the corner, Mikos, triple try, up and in, plus the foul. And Mikos, he's been deadly from each corner, and that's what they're going to need to spread this out. And you can see right now, Mikos knows he's putting it up, in range, rhythm, knocks it down. Opportunity for the four-point play. That does not happen very often. Mikos with a huge game. He now has 13. And that's an opportunity now. You've cut it to two. What you need to do is good, solid defense. Finish out the quarter. If you're Ursuline, then making sure that you're running the play. Coach Gunther setting something up. They're going to get the look that they want against the zone. 29-27 is our score. Ball in the hands of Algami. He is defended by Terrell Brown. Hobbs, Algami, Venzio. Top side, Algami for three. Up, no good. Hobbs with a rebound. Puts it up off the back edge. It will not go. Whistle, contact, and a foul. And Mooney back to the free throw line. And you can see right there, long shots get long rebounds. Ursland gets the second opportunity. Not able to capitalize. And that will be the third on Dwaylon Washington. So that's something to keep an eye on as well. Heading back to the other end for Kerry Palermo is Luke Pecchia. 
Pecchia so far has two points. Pecchia coming into the ball game, one for five from the free throw line. And he misses that one. Off the miss, Irish with a rebound. It is Algamy across the time stripe and into the forecourt. Inside of two minutes left here in the second quarter. It has been a good one. Two arch rivals locking horns again. Algamy over to Hobbs. To the near side, Leonard fakes the shot, whips it back to Algamy. Unselfish play. Fenzio knocks it down. That's an absolutely beautiful possession. The draw by Leonard, skip, the extra pass for the finish. Couldn't diagram it any better. Inside of 90 seconds left here in the first half, 32-27. Underneath, great ball fake, contact, no foul. Pat Brennan was looking for it. Here comes the Irish at the other end. Venzio to Algamy. Here is Hobbs. Hobbs picks up his dribble over to Venzio. Algamy. Closing in on the final 60 seconds, Algamy looks back at head coach Keith Gunther. Algamy over to Hobbs. This is Venzio. They give it to Howell, who tried the baseline, was cut off. Here's Hobbs. Back to Howell, and the ball was kicked. Say every week we pick a player of the game. It's one player that has made the greatest impact. It is sponsored by Nightline Embroidery and Screen Printing. We'll feature the player of the game every Monday night at 11 on WKBN 27 First News. Chad Krasbinski, Will Klusenik back with you. 43.8 seconds left. Irish basketball. And they're being very patient right now to make sure that they're not going to go in here in any less than five. And you're starting to get to that area where you might want to hold it for that last shot. Algamy lobs it for Hal in traffic. He tracks it down, spins, jump hook up and good. There's not much you're going to be able to do with that. Goes up, grabs the rebound. Should have been a turnover, but Hughes just grabs the ball from both players and finishes it off for his eighth point of the night. Nikos with the ball. Up at the top of the key, Wallet. Hits to Polini, firing three ball. That one was short. Algamy with the rebound for Ursuline. Algamy, fancy footwork. Algamy gives it to the near side. Final second. Scoop shot up, no good. How? Tried to get it to beat the buzzer, but it falls off. And we've reached halftime here at Ursuline High School. Your halftime score, Ursuline 34, Cardinal Mooney 27. Our halftime festivities will begin when we come back. You're watching live coverage of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. You're watching the High School Basketball Game of the Week on My YTV. Powered by the WKBN 27 First News Network. Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. If there's only one place to go, Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. Visit Ursuline's Open House Sunday, February 12th to learn about financial aid, plus academic, spiritual, and extracurricular offerings that make Ursuline the right choice for your child. Express Care, you can come in whether you're an established patient here or not. We see patients same day for acute illnesses, injuries. Express Care has been beneficial to me because it's opened my eyes to the need in the community to have a place for patients to go who don't necessarily need to be in the emergency room but who are ill and need quick and efficient care with Prima Healthcare. The patients are extremely grateful to have this resource available to them. Are you ready for some savings? Check out the deals from the returning champions at Taylor Kia Boardman. Get $5,000 over Kelly Blue Book fair market value for any trade at Taylor Kia of Boardman. Towards remaining new 2016 Optimus in stock. 2017 Kia Forte S, just $149 per month lease. 2017 Sorrento LX, just $219 per month. And Taylor Kia of Boardman knows how to tackle credit problems. If you have a job and bring home $350 per week, we want to approve you. TaylorKiaofBoardman.com. This has already reached cool. critical mass. I see. All right, I've got that's a thousand. Already, uh, that's already that's three hundred right. degrees below zero. You guys have great chemistry. Oh, thank you. Pass the beaker. Jim Loboy and Len Rome. No goggles required. 
Weekdays from 5 to 7 a.m. on 33 WITV. Lightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. If there's only one place to go, Lightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. And welcome back to Ursuline High School, where we have reached halftime. It's the Irish with a 34-27 lead over our rival Cardinal Mooney. Hi again, everybody. Chad Krispinski back alongside Will Klusenik. And Will, Ursuline has shown the ability to shoot it well from the outside. They've got that outstanding post presence underneath with Howe. Mooney undermanned without Haas, the leading scorer, but the Cardinals scratching and clawing in that first half. Definitely scratching and clawing in that first half. And as we always talk about it, basketball, that game of runs, you know, Mooney, when you thought that they were going to keep it close, just unable to kind of finish those quarters. And, and I think that's what led to this deficit right now. But hung tough, made the, some of the shots when they needed to. You have to play that hard in the second half. Anytime you get these two arch rivals going at it, you just never know until the game is complete what you'll see. We'll break down the first half of play when we come back. It's been a good one so far. 34-27, Ursland with the lead. Our halftime coverage continues after this. You're watching live coverage of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Once upon a time, there was a married bear. A dashing man with a deep voice. Want in on this? And a fair maiden with golden hair. You tell me which dress you like this. One mark clearance. Alas, not every day it felt like love was fair. I think marriage is going to be great. Oh. Based on what? Oh. Some cocktails and a little loving. Welcome to Thunderdome. Oh. Help them not to care. Rules of Engagement. Watch it five times a week. Rules of Engagement. Weekdays at 6.30 on MyYTV. Please don't make me shoot you. This is my first day. You could have died. I almost did. What about the manual? Screw the manual. People are going to die. It's just something you're going to have to get used to. 15-19, we have shots fired. We've all been judged, capable, dedicated, loyal, courageous. You acted like a cop. Rookie Blue Weekends. Sunday at 10 on MyYTV. MyValleyTributes.com pays homage to area loved ones who are no longer with us. Go to MyValleyTributes.com. Yeah. It's a great show. Yeah. Lens Nugget of Knowledge. Oh, I love that segment. Oh, uh, I got one here, Jimmy. Oh, excuse me, ladies. Excuse me. Excuse me. Delivery. Yeah, here we go. All right. Preparing you with a day's water cooler talk. WYTV 33 News Daybreak. Guys, come on. We have more deliveries to make. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, come on, let's go. In the high school, it is the high school basketball game of the week. Live on my YTV, we have reached halftime. Ursuline with a 34-27 lead over arch rival Cardinal Mooney. Hi again, everybody. Chad Krispinski back alongside Will Klusenik. And Will, we saw a little bit of everything in that first half. Both teams shooting the ball particularly well, especially from the outside. Both teams were getting the looks that they needed to get. Both teams, I thought, controlled the tempo at certain times of the game. Just Ursuline had a little bit more in that first half. Let's take a look at the team numbers from that first half of play and how it shook up. Mooney shooting considerably better than Ursuline. Nearly 70%. Ursuline, 48%. Both teams taking pretty good care of the basketball. By and large, seven turnovers combined. And they, you got to even shorten those up if you want to beat a team like Ursland. But right now, that first half, Coach Palermo's got to be pretty happy. When I checked on the starting lineups for Cardinal Mooney coming in, Coach Palermo said, we don't know who we're going to start in place 
of the injured Pete Haas. It's this young man who he informed me shortly thereafter, John Mikos, drilling the three. He came through. As we take a look at our miscellaneous numbers, Mikos coming through in a big way. Mikos coming through big, and if Coach Palermo's making those good decisions early on in his first year, he's going to have a long career. But you can see the game's tight. The stats are tight. We're going to see who's going to be able to make the plays a little bit later on in this game. Anis Algami made some plays in that first half. He showed the ability to splash him in from deep. Sweet-looking stroke, nothing but the bottom. As we take a look at our leaders in that first half of play, Mikos with 13, Algami with 10. It all adds up to a 34-27 Ursland lead over our tribal Cardinal Mooney. When we come back, we'll have the third quarter that comes your way next. You're watching live coverage of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. You're watching the High School Basketball Game of the Week on My YTV. Powered by the WKBN 27 First News Network.